Hi everyone, this is Omar, and today we'll be making this fun and awesome pop-up card. Sometimes I struggle when creating masculine cards, so after not much thought, I ended up using beer mugs because, I mean, who doesn't love beer, right? The front of the card is a raised panel. I used foam foam for that, and it was made with a creative collection, Nina Creative Collection crap texture paper. This is a great paper um, for doing this technique. It's kind of fluffy, it's kind of soft, so it's great for um, this faux uh, letterpress effect. Um, it comes in beautiful colors, this pink, blue, it's kind of green tone, but I decided for this card, um, gray was better because of the contrast with the gold. The writing was uh, done with a Signo Uniball UM153 broad tip pan in gold. This is a um, great pan because it has a broad tip and I love this kind of antique color, antique gold color that it has. It also comes in silver and white. I use them a lot. I got these in Japan but I will be sure to link them down below so you can check them out. Now, um, make sure you get the broad tip pen. Um, Uniball Signal also has the UM120, which is a fine tip pen. And I think for this technique and this particular design, it's better to use a broad tip pen. Now, the inside of the card um, has uh, two panels. One of them is uh, written with these, like, um, I don't know what to call them, starbursts. Um, made with a fine tip um, white gel pen. This is a Pilot um, Choose white gel pen. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below. And um, the top part is just, um, it doesn't have any design to it, so you can add any sentiment you want to. Now the main feature of this card is this um, pop-up effect that it has to the beer mugs there's the mechanism that will lift and um, bring both beer mugs to the center so they, they kind of you know clash in the center. Sometimes pop-up cards can be very bulky so to avoid that I decided to do print and cut for the beer mugs so you'll be able to download the file with the um, PNG transparent background beer mugs. Just head over to www.awesomesvgs.com and you'll be able to download this free file and while you're there don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new posts. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is upload your file to Design Space. So remember the basic uploading. You'll have to do uh, the uploading of the SVG file. Change the name of the file if you want to and add tags if you need to. And also do the uploading of the PNG transparent background file. This is a little bit different. Um, click on your file, select your file, and then click on complex. As you can see, the background has already been removed. Just select the print then cut image. Save as a print then cut image and click on save. Now that you have both files uploaded, click on them and click on insert image. Here are your files, your SVG file and your print then cut file. For the print then cut file, you will have to change the height of the file or the file of the image to 2.25 inches, 2 and a quarter inches. This is um, the sizing for the beer mug. And click on it and then click on edit, copy, and then click on edit and paste. You will need another copy and just flip it horizontally and that way you'll get two beer mugs that face each other. For the SVG file there are a couple of things that you will have to change. So select your file and click on ungroup and now select all the mechanisms with the um, scoring lines. 
select both of them and click on attach that, that way uh, both of them will be on the same mat now select the writing and the front panel and also click on attach and finally select the writing and um, the bottom inner panel and also click on attach as you, as you saw there I selected only the bottom panel but you can select both of them and the writing and click on attach it doesn't really matter so for your mechanism you will select the top layer and click on that scissors icon and change the layer attributes of that top layer of that attached set and change it to score. It's very important to change it to score otherwise those lines will be cut on your mechanisms and you don't want that. Now for your second attached set which is the uh, front panel also click on that scissors icon and change the layer attribute to right. We'll be using a gold um, pen for that. And um, now for the inner, uh, for the bottom inner panel, also click on the top layer. Click on that scissors icon and change the layer attributes to right. And you can select any color here. I'm not using Cricut pens. I'm using the UM. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm using the um, Pilot Choose. Uh, fine tip white gel pen. Now that all your layer attributes have been changed, click on make it. Here you can see the print then cut on the mat. You can change the order of your um, images and the reference marks uh, will be changed accordingly. Here's your uh, base card. I used a five and a half by four and a quarter uh, note card, top folding landscape note card. There is your um, front panel, and here's your inner panels with your mechanism. You want to make the mechanism the same color of your inner panels so it doesn't show when the card activates. Just click on continue and cut all your pieces. Now, even though um, the Cricut does a very good job at, job at scoring, I like to make my scoring lines steeper. So for that, I use a roller and the sharp end of my bone folder on top of a self-healing cutting mat. This way you'll get deeper uh, scoring lines and it will be easier for you to uh, fold those mechanisms. do the same uh, for the large mechanism this is the one that goes on top make sure to um, deepen all those um, scoring lines Now repeat the process on your other mechanism. Uh, remember to work on the right side of the cardstock. This mechanism should be a mirror of uh, the other one. To fold the mechanism, use the center fold and make it very sharp using your bone folder. And now take those uh, side scoring lines and kind of pinch them one at a time do not go over that center line and then take the square part kind of like give it a pinch and press with your middle finger and the center of that center fold make sure the uh, point is um, folded correctly press it and using your bone folder make that fold very crisp and sharp There you go, that's the first part. And now take that gluing tab, that um, kind of rounded gluing tab, fold it downwards, and also using your bone folder, 
make that fold very sharp. I um, like to fold my mechanisms to the back and then to the front again to work to kind of work those folds so the card works better when you assemble it. Now repeat the process for your other mechanism. Remember to fold using the center uh, scoring line, then pinch those side scoring lines. Make sure the uh, fold in that corner is very sharp and using your bone folder, kind of crease them and make them very sharp. The gluing tab, fold it downwards. Make sure it's in a 90 degree angle. And uh, that's it, work your folds to the back and then to the front again. To kind of make that um, cardstock a lot softer. Now the uh, bottom um, mechanism for the mechanism reinforcement, make sure to um, do 90 degree folds. It's a good idea to use your um, cutting mat for that. The lines on your cutting mat for that. And um, also fold the gluing tab down. Work your folds to the back and then to the front again. Fold your other mechanisms. Make sure you work on the right side of the cardstock so the mechanism is a mirror of the one that you just folded. And here are all your mechanism pieces. Now the um, note card, there's um, a note card on the file, but you can just use a five and a half by five and a half a piece of um, 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock, and fold it in half with a top um, and to create a top folding landscape card. Here are the inner panels, the bottom and the top inner panel. The bottom one has a writing on it, is the one that you will write and create those starbursts of, uh, with a white gel pen. You will recognize this panel because of the writing and also because of the positioning marks that you can see here. Those are small crosses that will be cut on your cardstock with your machine. It's already included in the file, so you don't need to position any reference marks for this. Those marks um, just reference where the mechanisms should be glued. First of all, start by gluing the top piece, um, the top inner panel. Make sure to glue it over that scoring line that you just made. Do not glue it on um, the center of the card, just avoid that scoring line in the center of the note card. This is what I do for correct positioning of my matted panels. I used uh, washi tape or this purple low tack tape that is great for this. So I just put it in the center and make sure the um, top panel is adhered to the uh, card base. I flip it over, um, put some uh, double-sided adhesive on the back with my ATG gun. And uh, flip it over making sure the tape is straight on that side. There you go perfect positioning of your panels. Remove that uh, purple tape from the edge. As you can see, you don't have to be that careful really with it. And it has a lot of adhesive that won't stick to your project and you can reuse it a hundred times if you want to. Now we'll be assembling the mechanism itself to the bottom panel. 
So um, make sure you take the right mechanism for your uh, side. We'll be applying glue only to the gluing tabs that I'm showing here. And the center uh, pieces, you won't be putting any glue um, because otherwise the card won't move. So I'll make sure to put glue only on the gluing tabs. For this, I like to use liquid glue. I think it's um, better because it allows you to reposition things in case you don't glue them right the first time. So just put glue on the gluing tab, the smaller gluing tab. Besides allowing you to um, kind of move things around a bit, it also reinforces the cardstock. Now, uh, remember those positioning marks I showed you earlier? Here is where you will put your mechanism. The corner of the mechanism should go, uh, should be aligned to the um, outermost reference point, and uh, the fold of your mechanism uh, should be ali aligned with the innermost um, reference mark. Glue it in place. As you can see, the mechanism will. Um, is a, a little bit uh, out of the inner panel, that's okay, don't worry about it, it's designed that way. And uh, just give it a good press so you make sure it sticks to the uh, bottom panel and uh, you're good to go. Now glue your other mechanism in place, applying glue to the lower gluing tab on the mechanism, make sure no glue goes outside those lines and using the reference points on the opposite side align the corner of the mechanism to the outermost reference point and the fold of the mechanism with the innermost point. Here's the fold and the innermost point. Remember the mechanism um, sticks out of your bottom panel by a couple of millimeters. Give it a good press so you make sure it's glued correctly. And there you go. There's the way your mechanisms will work. Now you're ready to glue the uh, mechanism reinforcements, which is the um, bottom uh, pieces of the mechanism. So make sure the long edge of the mechanism is facing down and you will be applying glue to only the outermost um, tab of, at this time. So apply glue and align the corner of the mechanism with the outermost um, reference mark and the fold of the mechanism with the innermost one. Here you can see how you are to position that mechanism. There's one reference point and there's the other reference point where the fold is. Give it a good press. Make sure it's stuck there and it doesn't move and make sure none of the uh, glue oozed, uh, oozed out of the gluing tab. Glue the other mechanism. Make sure the larger um, tab is facing down. Apply glue to the gluing tab, tab of the mechanism. This is a great glue pan, by the way. It's a fast drying glue. It's a liquid glue and it dries clear. So in case some of the uh, glue goes out of the tab, it won't show. Now again, make sure no glue oozes out of the gluing tab. Press it a couple of seconds and you are good to go.
Now we will start um, gluing our print and cut image. You can use your bone folders so they um, so the gluing tabs for the print and cut image stay down. And as you can see here, the print and cut image aligns exactly with the, with those gluing tabs. Here's the bottom part. The base of the beer mug fits right there on that gluing tab. And the foam on the beer mug, um, the beer foam uh, just aligns correctly and exactly to the, to the gluing tab, to the top gluing tab. Now take your glue pen, put some glue in the center of the tab. Do not go, um, too heavy on the glue, otherwise it could ooze out. You just need to put glue in the center. Align the bottom of the beer mug to the glue tab in the bottom. And the top, the foam on top to the top gluing tab of the mechanism. Press it a couple of seconds. Rub it a little bit. And you're good to go. And here's how your mechanism will work. As you can see, the beer mug is lifted and brought to the center. Now to work on the other side, I like to use a paper clip to hold that mechanism uh, down. And um, to glue the, the other print and cut image, flatten those mechanisms except for the gluing tab. Apply glue to those gluing tabs. Do not uh, make sure not to go too far um, or near the edge of those gluing tabs, so no glue oozes out of those gluing tabs. Align the bottom of the beer mug to the bottom gluing tab, and the foam, the beer foam, to the top um, mechanism. Give it a good press. Make sure the mechanism closes correctly. And there you go. Your other mechanism is working correctly. Now, here's what the mechanisms will do with the uh, beer mugs once the card is assembled. As you can see, the reinforcement pieces move along with the top mechanism. You already glued the top inner panel, so now you're ready to glue the bottom inner panel. Remember to glue this panel below the scoring line of the note card. Do not put it right in the center. So place your um, inner panel. Put your inner, inner panel in place. And uh, using the purple tape technique, align it to the note card. Make sure the purple tape sticks to the note card. Apply the double-sided tape to the back of your bottom inner panel. Make sure no uh, adhesive um, goes out of that inner panel. 
flip it over, make sure it, it's adhered correctly to the uh, note card, and remove the purple tape. If you don't have purple tape, you can use washi tape as well. Or masking tape, just make sure to run it a couple of times a couple of times through your to the palm of your hands or your fingers so it's not that sticky. Now it's time to glue the mechanism to the top inner panel. So for that just put glue on the large part of the mechanism. I like to glue both mechanisms at the pe at the, the same time. Make sure not to put too much glue or not to go too far from the edge. Hold your pen and cut images down and press on your card. Give it a couple of seconds. Press it good. Make sure it's adhered correctly. And there you go. Your card is now assembled. There's enough space on the top panel so you can write your message in. I like to work my folds a little bit more, just make sure to activate those mechanisms before closing the card. There you go. Now it's time to adhere the front panel. Here you can see um, the uh, faux letterpress effect that you get with this technique. And with this, uh, particularly with this paper and uh, this kind of pen. Just make sure to use the right side of the cardstock to cut the uh, fun foam accordingly. Just put the fun foam on the back of your piece, offset it a little bit, mark where your top panel is and cut the excess fun foam using your paper trimmer or scissors. Just put some double sided adhesive to the back of that fun foam piece. and glue it to the back of your front panel. Finally, glue the uh, raised front panel to your card. Center it. And uh, there you go. Your card is finished. You can use this card for birthdays, anniversaries, um, anything really. It's a very generic card, but it's a great card to make. Now, I hope you liked this video. Um, all the products I used are linked on the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to my blog so you don't miss any new posts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.